everyone, doing a quick tech review, comparing the NVIDIA GTX 295 to the ATI 5970 in size. Uh, I have my iPhone sitting right over here, give you a comparison idea of just how big these cards are getting. Um, in general, the ATI 5970 has about an inch and three quarters on the GTX 295 cards over. You can see the packaging. It's a beast of a card. Um, one thing to note, the the ATI 5970 has a metal back plate. Um, it's kind of hard to see. You can see the mounting brackets and whatnot. Um, but you can see that plate going around the edge. This plate gets really, really hot. Uh, it's significantly significantly cooler on this side, uh, but around the actual GPUs, this card probably gets up in the 80 Celsius range. Um, not exactly sure uh, how it works, but it seems to be dissipating a lot of heat, or a lot of heat transfer does go to this metal back plate. Um, as you can see, the the GTX 295 doesn't have any sort of back plate. Um, it does have a cover, the metal or just like a plastic cover, just like the the ATI card does. Um, it doesn't get hot. This part of the ATI card does not get hot. Um, you can see the the trademark vents people talk about. Uh, the Nvidia card doesn't have any sort of vents like that. Um, it does ventilate out the side and the back, of course. You can see that the NVIDIA card has two DVI slots and an HDMI. And shockingly, unlike the smaller brother of the ATI series, this card lacks an HDMI port and a full-size display port. It has a mini display port and two DVI ports. The cooling vent on the ATI card is significantly larger than the NVIDIA card. Um, if you stack the two cards on top of each other, they roughly have the same footprint. Uh, they're roughly the same width. Um, Length-wise, though, you can obviously See, the ATI card's a little bit longer, and I think that's because, actually, you know what, I don't know why, <laughs> and I'm not going to attempt to guess, but that's the breakdown between the two cards, um, now we'll go on to some testing.